I think what we will see in Scotland is is um, a combination of of um, the you know the general global warming climate change issues that we we all know about um, in terms of weather patterns and um, the sort of resilience of healthcare systems to deal with that. I mean, we did see last summer in England um, one of the hospitals in London. I think was uh, their their IT systems went down due to uh, heat uh, in their computer. Uh, terminals. We've had um, locally issues with flooding, um, and in fact, you know, generators, uh, backup generators being flooded. Um, uh, so, so we need to be aware of these types of things. But I think um, the wider picture about um, environmental harm um, is more likely to come in Scotland from things such as uh, uh, pharmaceuticals in the environment and effect on biodiversity. Um, I think one of the great worries in modern healthcare is antimicrobial resistance, and that's um, you know primarily, well, perhaps not primarily, but uh, to a large part, uh, a worry in terms of what we um, put into our water supply, um, the 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 exits of hospitals and communities. Uh, you know, a lot of the work done by the One Health Breakthrough Partnership. Um, uh, up in Keith Ness demonstrated um, large um, numbers of drugs and particularly antibiotics in the um, exit of wastewater treatment plants. So we need to consider what we're putting in our water and what effect that has on um, creatures around us and biosystems and primarily what effect also that will have ultimately on, on resistance to those antibiotics in humans. Um, we may be... Um, well, I've heard before people saying we're living in, in uh, golden times in terms of being able to treat infectious diseases, and that might not be the case uh, again in the future.